view is on normal distribution. In today's video, we are going to explain a problem that is, if x is a normal variate, find the area A to the left of z is equal to minus 1.78, to the right of z is equal to minus 1.45 and corresponding to minus 0 0.8 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1.53. And to the left of z is equal to minus 2.52 and to the right of z is equal to 1.83. See here what is given. So it is given that x is a normal variate and we have to find the area to the left of. See here the first one is to the left of. To the left of z is equal to minus 1.78. See here it's very easy. So if you see here this is the normal area curve. So this will be this tends to. So x is equal to mu here and this tends to minus infinity and this to plus infinity. So this is of the right side and this is towards the left side. So here to the left of minus 1.78. See here this is the left side. This is z value here is c here z is equal to 0. Here z is equal to minus 1.78. So it is towards the left side. See here. Towards the left side means this side. See here. This is the region area which is to be calculated. Now see here the required area is equal to the required area is equal to see here calculating from here till minus infinity will be difficult it will be easy for us to calculate by um, subtracting 0 0.5 minus see here 0 0.5 minus so half of the diagram is 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus this is z is equal to 0 and z is equal to minus 1.78 therefore area minus area from 0 to minus 1.78 see here from the table this will be the required area is equal to the required area is equal to 0 0.5 minus the area between this one 0 to minus 7.1.78 by symmetry we can write this as area between 0 to plus 1.78 see here from the table i'll show you 1.78 value will be see this is 1.7 this will be 8 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this will be 0 0.4625 this will be 0 0.4625. This is 0 0.5 minus the required area is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4625 which is equal to 0 0.0375. Therefore, this is the required area to the left of z is equal to minus 1.78. And see here the next one to the right of z is equal to. See the second question here is. So, this is the second question to the right of solution 2. To the right side of z is equal to minus 1.45. See here, to the right side of. See the negative sign here shows that. So, according to the diagram, so this will be like this. So, this is z is equal to 0. So, this is towards the negative side. So, this will be z is equal to minus 1.45. So, to the right side of this. So, to the right side of this will be, see here. So, this is the area which is needed to be calculated. So, the required area is equal to, the required area will be, see here. This whole thing is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 plus the area from 0 to minus 1.45. By symmetry, we can write this as 0 0.5 from 
the area between 0 to plus 1.5 1.45 see here this will be 0 0.5 plus the area that is 1.4 under 5 so this is 1.4 under 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 under 5 is 0 0.4265 again this is 0 0.4265 therefore the value here is 0 0.9265 therefore the required area to the right of z is equal to minus 1.45 is nothing but 0 0.9265 see here the next thing here is the third question the third question is nothing but corresponding to see here the third question is corresponding to solution 3 corresponding to minus 0 0.8 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1.53 and see here the figure will be so this tends to minus infinity and this tends to plus infinity so this is nothing but z is equal to 0 so this is towards negative side so this will be z is equal to minus 0 0.8 and here the value here z is equal to this is 1.53 we need the area in between so in between area will be so this is the area which we have to calculate so this is the area which we need to calculate therefore this is nothing but the required area is equal to the required area is nothing but area of uh, this is z2 and this is z1 area of z2 plus this is area of z1 so this from 0 to, till z2 and 0 till z1 so this is nothing but the required area what is z2 here z2 is area under 0 to 1.53 plus the area from 0 to this is minus 0 0.8 so by symmetry we can write this as plus that is 1.53 plus the area between 0 to plus 0 0.8 so now see here the value here will be 1.5 under 3 so this is 1.5 under 3 0 1 2 3 the value here is 0 0.4370 0 0.4370 and 0 0.8 under 0 this is 0 0.8 under 0 that is 0 0.2881 that is 0 0.2881 therefore the value here is the required value here is 0 0.7251 is the required area so, according to this question, we have to add up area A2 and area A1. See here, the fourth question is to the left of, see the fourth solution here. What is the question here? To the left of, this is a solution 4. The solution 4 is nothing but to the left of Z is equal to, to the left of Z is equal to minus 2.52 and to the right of to the right of z is equal to 1.83 so for this question how we have to draw the figure see here so this is also so simple so this is the normal curve so this tends to minus infinity and this tends to plus infinity and this value is z is equal to 0 so this is a negative side that is z is equal to minus 2.52 and this is positive so here z is equal to this is 1.83 see here left off so this is the left side towards uh, z is equal to minus 2.53 so this is the left side so this is the area required and see here and to the right of the right of 1.83 so this is the area re required so instead of finding from 1.82 till plus infinity so it is easier to calculate that is 0 0.5 minus the area between 0 to 1.83 here also instead of calculating till z is equal to minus 2.52 to minus infinity so it will be easy for for us to calculate 
from 0 0.5 minus from z is equal to the area between z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 2.52 see let's get started to do this therefore the required area is equal to the required area is equal to this is 0 0.5 minus the area between so area between 0 to 1.83 plus the next one 0 0.5 minus the area between the area between 0 to minus 2.52 52 so by symmetry we can write in a positive uh, a value that is 0 to that is area between 0 to 1.83 plus this is 0 0.5 minus area between 0 to this is 2.52 plus 2.52 see see the first one is 0 0.5 minus area so area is 1.8 under 3 this is 1.8 under 3 that is 0 1 2 3 that is 0 0.4664 that is 0 0.4664 plus this is 0 0.5 minus 2.5 under 2 so this is 2.5 under 2 that is 0 1 2 that is 0 0.4941 that is uh, 0 0.4941 so if we subtract this will be the required area so the required area is equal to see let me show you that is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4664 the value here is 0 0.0336 plus this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4941 the value here is 0 0.0059 so, if I add 0 0.0336, the required area here is 0 0.0395 is the required area. Therefore, the required area for this one is 0 0.0395. And let me show you once again how to draw the figure. See, first one to the left of, to the left side of Z is equal to minus 1.78 negative part. It is on the left side of the ordinate. Therefore, towards the left side of z is equal to minus 1.78 so instead of calculating from 1.78 till infinity so it is easier for us to calculate by subtracting 0 0.5 minus the area between 0 to 1.78 and the next one the second question is right side of so z is equal to minus 1.45 where we'll plot minus negative so here towards the left side of the ordinate this is minus 1.45 so this is the right side so this area is required area so therefore the required area is nothing but the half of the curve is 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 and the area between 0 to 1.45 using the table and the next question is corresponding between corresponding to minus 0 0.8 and uh, 1.53 this is negative sign minus 0 0.8 and this is positive side 1.53 so this is area a2 plus area a1 and the next one the left side of this one left side of uh, 2.52 and the right side of 1.83 instead of calculating till 2.52 till minus infinity so i calculated so this is 0 0.5 minus area between 0 to 1.83 and here also 0 0.5 minus the area between 0 to 2.52 and this is the final answer that is 0 0.0395 is the answer thank you so much for watching so you can easily draw a figure and you can easily uh, calculate the area using this uh, table thank you so much